Hello everyone, it's me Clayton. I just finished watching the first three episodes of Harley Quinn Season 4. So after the third season where Bruce Wayne created zombies and after he got sent to jail, Harley Quinn's now a member of the Bat Family, Poison Ivy is now a member of the Legion of Doom, and both of them have to have to work around getting used to their new jobs while also following King Shark and Clayface with what they've been doing since their whole gang ended up disbanding. So to be fair, there's a lot going on throughout the season, which is both a good thing and a bad thing. First, the good. Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy being put into unfamiliar roles does allow for a lot of good comedic potential, especially since, since Harley isn't exactly privy to the no-kill rule for the Bat family, which obviously gets her in, tr in trouble with them quite a bit, and her having to learn uh, how to handle situations from Alfred, of all people, certainly is pretty entertaining. I just never expected Harley and Alfred to have any connection together. On top of that, Poison Ivy's whole deal with her trying to create socially conscious evil, that, you know, and with her environmentalism gimmick, that that's actually pretty funny. The idea of doing uh, of doing villainous things but with a good cause in her respect is kind of inherently funny in its own way. Especially since she does her best to screw over Wayne Enterprises for, for their for their business practices because they harm plants too. Even when they're run by Natalia Al Ghul, who thankfully is finally introduced to this in the series, and she comes across as pretty funny. Basically, she comes across as an overzealous feminist who also has no idea how the real world works. Which, in a series that's already insane on top of itself, it allows her to be both funny but also kind of terrifying. Which, if you're going to do a comedic take on Natalia Al Ghul, is probably the best way to go about it. On top of that, there there's some fun jokes that happen in in the in the Lexor Hotel, you know, like it's the Luxor Hotel but owned by Lex Luthor, that has stuff like villains having death matches and and having grenades that are actually chocolates and chocolates that are actually grenades. Those got a big laugh out of me. But it also seems that King Shark and Clayface get a little bit lost in the shuffle, so to speak. I liked those two. They were very funny in the first few seasons, but King Shark kind of gets saddled with his wife who treats him like crap, which just isn't a whole lot of fun to watch in some respects. The strong humor throughout keeps those sections from dragging, but I do think they could have done more with him. As far as Clayface, he gets to essentially be a stuck-up diva at his show in Las Vegas, which does fit his overzealous actor persona, but at the same time, it does feel a little weird for him to be uh, fighting Harley and Ivy after everything he's done with them. Then again, when it comes to how chaotic the show is, a lot of the great action scenes end as quickly as they start, as do the jokes. Which is good when, when certain jokes really flop, so they just move on to another joke without having to think about the one we had just had for too long. This is why I think Harley Quinn's comedy works the way Velma's really doesn't. When a Velma's jokes bomb, they bomb so hard and just get worse with every uh, subsequent joke that they try. With this show, even if a joke bombs, they just move on to the next one without you having to think about it for too hard. Which can work when you have to go for rapid-fire comedy, especially when you're a character as chaotic as Harley herself. How's the rest of the season going to go? I have no idea. But it has, it's a pretty good start so far, even if I have a few concerns. See you next time.